Hello and welcome to your daily love message from your person. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in, as promised, the Divine Masculine Dark Struggles deck today. So we're going to see what they are struggling with. Now I'm also going to bring up at the end the Divine Masculine Karmic Struggle. So if your person is in a karmic relationship or situation, we're going to do a mini check-in later with what's going on with them too. But this is the main struggles that they are going through. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. And also to remind you, tickets are on sale for my live event in London in May. I'm going to be live on Saturday the 18th of May. If you want to come to that, you can connect with me in the description box below. So what do you need to know today? What are they struggling with? Straight out, okay? What are they struggling with today? What things are on their mind? Wow, these things are flying out here. What are they struggling with? I still feel there's more. I feel that's like one message for some people watching. And then I feel there's another message here. So if this first bit doesn't resonate with you, I feel this bit here will. So I feel there's like two messages coming through today. And this can also be because I've already set the intention to bring in the karmic struggles deck to see what they are struggling with in karmic situations. So... Let's see what's going on. Yeah, I've got one card coming out of that deck. Wow, one card and one moving on the top. I'm going to take them. Actually, there's a few getting my attention on the top of the deck here. But I feel that's the main message. I've got one card and then these moved on top of the deck. So I'm going to put them to one side. So I'm going to do the karmic message after. So this is the first card that jumped out. My children are our world, right? Wow. So I can see why this may not resonate with everyone, this part of the message, because... Maybe your person doesn't have children, but if they haven't got children, don't click off this video because I feel this message will be for you here. So for those of you who's masculines or, you know, if your person has got children, they are letting you know that they are their world. They care about them. That may even be the reason they are sticking around in a karmic relationship right now because they love their children. And this is really showing you that they are a really good parents of those children, a great mom, a great dad. They are making sure they have everything in their world that they deserve and want. But also, it's about them understanding that even though their children are their world, they can't remain somewhere that feels toxic because it's not good for anyone, including the children. But that's also something they are struggling with because they have children. Yeah, my life is a big hot mess. So I feel this is a karmic situation here the karmic situation they are in is a big hot mess and they're struggling to get out of it because their children are their world. They may be worrying about custody. They may be worrying about not being around their children. They could even be worrying about someone else bringing their children up if their karmic partner meets someone else. So, you know, it's all these fear-based energies they feel and they will reply soon. So if they are not replying to you right now, they will reply. And I feel that will resonate with everyone watching. You know, maybe you've reached out and they haven't replied. They will reply and they'll reply soon. But right now their life is a big hot mess. They're dealing with that and they're thinking of the children. So this can be another reason why they're not replying straight away. Now, if you don't resonate with this part of the reading, you need to know that their life is a big hot mess whether they've got children or not, you know, regardless, their life is a big hot mess and they will reply soon when they're feeling a bit more in control of their life, when they're taking control. So let's see what the next cards are. The next card is, I want to follow you on social media. So they may reply to you soon by following you on social media. Maybe you've actually added them on social media or you're waiting for them to add you or follow you on social media or maybe even like your picture or you know, send you a message of some kind. So they want to do that and they're letting you know, even if they don't do it, they want to. And that's the big thing. That's what they want to do. I want to follow you on social media, which also tells you that they are curious about what you're up to and what you're doing. Now, I feel that someone listening is also thinking of setting up social media. So maybe you've never had social media, but you're thinking about setting it up. And this could be a sign for you to do that because this is a sign that if you set up social media, guess what? They are going to follow you on there or they are going to try and add you on there or they're going to be around you on there somehow. So for those of you who haven't got social media, but you may have been thinking of setting it up, this could be that sign that, or that push that you need from the universe to do that because that may create the way for your reunion. 
Now, again, that doesn't mean you've got to if you don't want to, but, you know, you can if you want to, and the offer is there from the universe. Like the angel's saying, we're giving you a way forward there. It's up to you what happens, what happens now. And that's really what your person is saying, what happens now, you know, what's going on now, what's going to happen. My life is a big hot mess. What happens now? What do I do? My children, my world, what happens now? What do I do? I want to reply to you and follow you on social media. What happens now? And they may also be thinking about that. You know, if they follow you on social media, what will happen? You know, will you follow them back? Will you reply? Will you be around them? Will you let them in? I feel there's also that kind of energy around what, what's going to happen. And I do feel as well, for those of you who live close by, they may be driving past your house. So I feel this reading today has got a bit in here for everyone. Because you may be watching this thinking, wow, I know he's been driving past my house because I felt it or I saw the car or I've been getting signs because I keep seeing the car that he drives or the colour of the car that he drives pulling up near the house. So again, you're receiving signs that they're coming back. But you may be thinking, well, that doesn't resonate with me at all because my person does not drive or we live oceans apart. So how could he possibly drive past my house? This is something he's saying to you. I've been dreaming about coming to you. I've been wondering what you're doing. I've been thinking about you in this way, coming to you in a physical way because they're genuine about you. So your person is saying, of course, I'm genuine about you, but I'm not really genuine within myself right now. That means they're wearing that mask. They're not being genuine about themselves because they're not being true to themselves. They're still living a lie. Their life is a big hot mess. I need to sort myself out, but I am genuine about you. And you know that when you have the opportunity to look into their eyes. I'm genuine about you, but not about me. So give them time to change. Your generosity spooked me. So you're a very generous person. You are just naturally generous. It's who you are. You are very giving and loving. That's your empress energy. You'd give them everything, whether it's money, whether it's a material thing, whether it's time, attention, help, support, whatever it is, it spooked them because they're not used to that. Why do I deserve those things? Why do I deserve your love? What is it that I can give back to you? You know, that's what they are dealing with. They don't feel good enough for you. They don't feel like they can match that. So they are also working on that too. And that's why they can also run. So don't feel like they're ungrateful or they don't value you because they do. They value you and they are grateful for you and everything you've done for them. But your generosity may have spooked them a little bit. Why? Because their life is a big hot mess. And they may be thinking about their children. They may be spending all their money and all their time and energy on their children. And you might think, well, what about me? And they are saying, don't worry, I'll reply to you soon. I will reply to you soon. I'm just dealing with some things here. Now, let's see how this resonates with the karmic energies because this is the main card. I want out financially yet. Yeah. Now, this is so important that you understand this because you might think it would be so easy for my person to walk away from that karmic partner. It would be so easy for them to come to me or to be with me, especially because you're this generous person. You know, your generosity spooked them, remember. And they want to be financially free and stable enough to be with you. And they want out financially of this karmic relationship or situation. So what this means is, they may be tied into things financially that you're not aware of or you aren't really thinking about right now because all you're thinking about is them leaving that person or getting away from that situation and they may not be able to because they may be tied into it. So they may have a joint bank account, for example, or they may have a tenancy or a mortgage together. They may definitely have financial struggles or things connected with the children. This could again be custody of children or you know, things they need to sort out. There could be some battles there. Maybe they've got business with someone and they want out of that financially. So if you're thinking, well, they aren't in a relationship, but he's got a business partner or he's got money invested with family or anything like that, this is what they are struggling with. I want out financially. So before you judge them for the time it's taking, try and look beyond the surface and recognize there could be something else going on. And this is the only card that made itself known, as in it flew out. These cards moved on top of the deck. It's time for us both to begin again. So what this means is as well, first of all, 
in this energy we're in right now, where we're moving into this springing forward energy, we've just had Easter movement, you know, we're getting ready for the energy of Taurus to come in as well, which is about taking back power and moving ahead. Your person is saying to you, we are both beginning again. It's time for us both to begin again. Begin again. So this is about a fresh start between you. And also, your person is saying that to whomever they are connecting with financially here, whether it's to their children or it's to their karmic partner or it's to their business partner or a family member. It's time for us both to begin again. So it's like a new beginning. Something's changing here. And I like doing my own thing. So your person likes doing their own thing. And the thing they struggle with if they're in a karmic relationship or in a financial bind is they can't do that because they may have responsibilities or financial obligations that stop them from doing their own thing. Or they want to do their own thing without that karmic partner or they want to do things their way. I like doing things my way, he's saying to you. So that's also something they are releasing themselves from. I like doing my own thing. And that's also reminding you that you can't force or rush this love. You have to have faith that they're going to do it their way. And the same to this karmic partner or this financial partner or their business partner or whoever they are connecting with, not you. They're saying this to whomever. I will be okay without you in my life. They recognise that, they know they're going to be okay, even though they're a little bit afraid because they're afraid of losing the kids or they're in a bit of a mess. They know they'll be okay and they know they need to leave that situation. And also it's like they are saying to you, you'll be okay without me and I'll be okay without you, but why would we want that when we both want to be together? Because, you know, you survive, you do survive. This life we come into by ourselves, this life we will leave by ourselves, you know, because we get born on our own and we pass on our own. You know, you have to remember that, but you have people around you and in your life for a reason. So this is understanding that you'll be okay until your person is with you. You'll be stable, you'll be taken care of because you have a connection with source. And your person is saying, I'm not really living my life in this situation I'm in. I'm not really living. Living is about thriving. It's about adventure. It's about excitement. It's about feeling love and empowerment and feeling excited to be alive. And your person is not feeling that where they are. I'm not feeling that. I'm not really living, am I? I'm eating, I'm sleeping, I'm repeating. And what am I doing here? What am I doing with my life? With you, he wants to travel. He wants to explore things. He wants to taste good food. He wants to taste you. He wants to love you and be romantic with you and talk into the middle of the night with you and do things with you. And he's not really living life. So he's saying, I've got to change my life. I have to get back to myself. I have to find myself again. I have to go back into myself to understand myself. And this is what's changing. So if they're in a karmic relationship, even if their children are their world, even if their life is a big hot mess, even if they are dealing with things financially, they know they have to get back to themselves. They know they're not really living there and they know they're going to be okay without that person. They also know they're going to be okay because their kids are going to always be a part of their life and their world. They'll be okay. They like doing their own thing. They need space. They want to begin again. They want out financially so they can be with you and be able to be generous back to you. I want out financially so I can buy you a present and take you out somewhere. And I'm genuine about you, but not about myself right now because I'm dealing with all of this. Your person is saying, I want to drive past your house. What happens if I do? What happens if I follow you on social media? What happens now? So I will reply soon. What happens now or what happens when they reply is up to you. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.